Make sure you're logged into playzenic.com. Select your age. Click Start Coding. JavaScript. And here you can follow along with all our examples and code along with us. Paul from Tagzenic here. And in this lesson, we'll be learning about logical operators. Logical operators are used to include multiple conditions in a conditional statement. So if we want to compare two or more conditions and return one Boolean value, we use logical operators. In this example, I've already created three variables. The temperature set at 25 degrees, raining is set to true, and if we can go outside or not, set to an empty string. The first logical operator is AND. To write AND, we use two ampersands. And now I want to check if it's nice enough outside, so if the temperature is between 20 and 30 degrees, we can go outside. So now I'm going to use our can we go outside variable and set it equal to temperature is greater than or equal to 20. And if the temperature is less than or equal to 30. Next, I'm going to console log our result. So is, is the temperature between 20 and 30? Now, if I clear my console and hit run, we get true. Since our temperature is 25 degrees and is both greater than or equal to 20, and less than or equal to 30. Next is the OR operator. We write this using two line blocks, just like that. For this example, I'm going to set can we go outside to check if the temperature is greater than or equal to 20, or if it is not raining. So raining is equal to false. Next, I'm going to check my results. Is the temperature greater than or equal to 20 or not raining? Now, if I clear my console, and run the code, we also get true. Since our temperature is above 20, since it's set to 25, but raining is true. However, OR operators only check if one condition is true to return true. It will only return false if all conditions are false. The next operator is the NOT operator. We use exclamation mark if we want to use the NOT operator. In this example, I'm going to set can we go outside again to check if it's not raining. To do this, I'm going to write not in front of raining. And now I'm going to console log my results. If it's not raining, we can go outside. Then call the can we go outside variable. Now if I clear my console and run my code,
we get false. This is because raining is true. And since raining is true, adding not to raining returns false, the opposite value. Thank you for listening. See you in the next lesson.